and I have to say it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, definitely one of our favourites that we've had and I think probably one of our favourites that we will have when we're here. Shanghai is home to some amazing noodle dishes and in this video we're going to share with you all of our favourite places to eat noodles in Shanghai. So we've just finished eating at Kenman Lamie, which you can see behind us here. It's a little noodle shop. Um, they have a range of noodle dishes, the pork up dishes, and a few other things on the menu. Uh, but what we tried was the stir fried noodle dish with little bits of vegetable, beef, and it was really delicious. So I always remember walking past 319 Noodle House. It was a rainy day in Shanghai in the middle of winter. We absolutely love sitting here on the window seats, looking at everyone walking past, and we loved their La Rumienne or pork noodle dish, as well as their scallion oil noodles. So we've just finished eating lunch at a place that you can see behind us, number 14 Yandang Road, yeah. which is called Wei Jiang Jai. And I had such high expectations for this place. It's one of the top spots I wanted to try when we were here in Shanghai and yeah. it definitely lived up to what I hoped it was going to be. It was amazing. Yeah, so they're known for their sesame peanut noodles, which I think is pronounced Ma Jiang Mian. And basically it's a really sort of gooey, thick sauce, peanut sesame flavors, but it also has like this chili oil or something yeah. to it. Um, so it makes it a little bit spicy as well. It was absolutely delicious. Yeah, it was probably, uh, obviously you got to try um, uh, Xiaolong Bao and Shenzhen Bao and stuff like that here, but outside of the like most iconic things that you hear in Shanghai, I'd say it's rocketed straight to the top of the list, I think. It was really delicious and I think it'll be a crowd pleaser because it's really sort yeah. of familiar flavors as well to most people. Um, all I'll say, so we both had a serve each. Chris had all of his, plus a little bit of mine. And I managed almost to eat it all, but I think... Towards the end, it can get a little bit heavy. Yeah, it can but, get heavy towards the end. But for me, I could easily have done another bowl or two of it. Yeah, we also got a side of the curry, beef curry broth. Yeah. Um, which is really nice too. Yeah, like, I think some people have it with the noodle, but I just had it on the side and it was, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, so we heard that you can mix the curry broth through or you can add some vinegar, but once we were eating the actual noodle dish itself, we didn't really want to add anything to it because the flavors no. were just so nice. Yeah. So try that if you want to, but for us, we liked it how it was. Yeah, but definitely a must when you're here. Definitely. So we're just here at Ding Tali in Shanghai and we've just had a delicious noodle and pork, pork chop. <laughs> and they're really good actually. With uh, the scallion noodles here we opted to get them with some pork as well. Yeah. And with the addition of pork we loved it. Yeah. yeah it was a little bit different to the uh, original if you will but uh, overall it was a great addition. And then we also had a deep fried pork chop which was just a little chop and it was quite yeah, nice. Yeah, no, it was good. Overall we really enjoyed it here. Yeah, so if anything I say the pork chop is a tiny little bit dry but it still had a really nice flavor. Good flavor though, yeah. 
um, and still really enjoyed it. And if you're wondering the names of these dishes, you can also check out all the full details in the article linked below. Yes. So we just finished eating at Chua Noodles, the restaurant you can see behind us, and I have to say it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, definitely one of our favourites that we've had, and I think probably one of our favourites that we will have when we're here. Yeah, so they specialise in Chengdu cuisine, and here you can try an amazing dish of Dan Dan Noodles. Um, they yeah, also the, um, the other one was really good too, the thicker, chewier one. Yeah, so I think that was now called or referred to on the English menu as brown sugar noodles. Yeah. Um, but we'll put all of the Chinese versions of the dish in the article links below as well. Yeah, but basically everything we had there was just beautiful. We had, like Mandy said, those two dishes. We also had a braised beef noodle, which was really good too. But probably our highlights were definitely the Dan Dan noodle and the brown sugar noodle. They were so nice. I highly recommend them if you come to Shanghai to make your way here because definitely some of my favorite noodles yet in Shanghai. Yeah, for sure. There's no shortage of places in Shanghai to try the local specialty of Skanor noodles. And a couple of places that we love their Skanor noodles are Jiang Guo 328 and Old Jesse. Another great noodle shop in Shanghai was this place that was just around the corner from where we were staying and we love their beef noodles. So those are all of our absolute favourite places to eat noodles in Shanghai. If you want any further details or a map of all the places we mentioned, then just check out our article on almostlanding.com. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe for more of our videos. The next video in this China series will be our favourite places for breakfast street food in Shanghai. So we hope to see you there. I love it. It's really hard to describe, but it's got a lot of texture and flavour going on. I think we'll be having a lot of this. Me too.